In this demo, we're going to show you ACV Tool. ACV Tool is a novel tool for measuring black box code coverage of Android applications. To measure code coverage of an Android application, we modify it at the bytecode level. This allows us to track all the bytecode instructions executed while we test the app. We divide the workflow of ACV Tool into offline and online phases. During the offline phase, ACV Tool transforms the Dalvik bytecode from the APK into the Smiley representation. Then, ACV Tool transforms the APK by inserting special instructions called probes into the Smiley code. The purpose of these probes is to track the execution of the original instructions from the APK. During the online phase, ACV Tool installs the instrumented APK onto an Android emulator or a real Android device. During this phase, the installed and instrumented APK can be tested manually or automatically. Finally, after the APK has been tested, ACV Tool generates a code coverage report. Now, we will show how the tool works on a real APK. For this demonstration, we have downloaded a popular AIMP audio player from the Google Play Market. This is how it looks without playlists on the Android emulator. We now uninstall the original audio player in order to be able to run the instrumented version. ACV Tool is implemented as a Python package. By typing ACV-H, we can see the commands available. To instrument the player application, we use the instrument command. This instrumentation is done at the instruction level, which allows us to track code coverage at the instruction, method, and class levels. We can also choose to instrument at the method level only. ACV Tool uses APK Tool to transform the Dalvik bytecode into the Smiley representation, manipulate it, and build the instrumented version of the original APK. The output of this stage is the modified APK and an instrumentation report file which has the pickle extension. We now install the instrumented audio player onto the Android emulator. We then start a special broadcast service that prepares the APK to register code coverage and monitor crashes. We are now ready to test. Here's the app. We're going to run the app and perform a few clicks. We add one song from the SD card and we can see that the audio player plays the song. Now we press Ctrl and C to stop the testing process and generate the coverage report. ACV Tool now takes the runtime report produced during testing and the instrumentation report produced during instrumentation and generates the code coverage report. Here's our working directory. We have the HTML report that can be used for a visual inspection. To facilitate automated processing of ACV tool reports, we also provide the possibility to create such a report in an XML format. Let's have a look at the HTML report. First, we see the package name and the marker that coverage has been tracked at the instruction level. This table shows information about code coverage. The first column contains the names of packages within the APK. The next column visualizes how much of the code was executed in green and not executed in red. Next, we can see the percentage of code coverage. The remaining columns are split into pairs, which show the amount of missed lines, methods, or classes, and the total amount, respectively. In total, we can see that only about 7% of the app code was covered during our short testing period. Let's open the package that contains a player view. Inside, we see more detailed information about the Smiley classes. We can open the main player view Smiley class. Here, we have many methods. Some of them were executed. Here it is. This is the method 
that was called as we pressed both play and pause. As we can see, only about half of the method was executed. To summarize, ACV Tool measures code coverage in Android applications in the black box setting. It is easy to integrate into any testing environment, and it can work on both Android emulators and real devices. Moreover, it does not lead to a visible degradation of application performance. The ACV Tool will be available soon under an open source license. Cheers, and stay tuned.